this demonstration, we will perform a stress analysis of an aircraft engine bracket using geometry modeling in AIM. Define new geometry enables you to create geometry from scratch inside of AIM. Import existing geometry enables you to select a file containing your geometry. Connect to Active CAD session enables you to directly connect AIM to a running CAD system on your computer and transfer its current geometry into AIM. This enables you to edit the geometry that you import to prepare it for simulation. If you do not enable this option, you can prepare it in ANSYS Space Claim Direct Modeler or your CAD system. In this example, we import a step file representing the bracket. The four recessed holes are where the bracket is bolted into the engine nacelle. To lift the engine, a pin is inserted into the other two holes and a crane lifts the pin. We want to study the effects of the pinhole locations on the stress in the bracket. We can automatically create a mesh for our initial geometry, then proceed with the physics setup, solution, and results analysis. We will focus on just the geometry and meshing in this tutorial. This brings us into AIM's Geometry Editing Mode, where we can use embedded tools based on the ANSYS Space Claim Direct Modeler to change the geometry. We can easily move the holes by dragging them. We can specify an exact distance by pressing the keyboard spacebar and typing a number. We can easily study a range of values by clicking on this button to create a workbench parameter. Notice the message at the bottom right indicating that Group 1 has been created. In AIM's Geometry Editing Mode, a group represents a dimensional parameter or a name selection. We can click here to see the groups that we have created. We can rename the parameter by right-clicking on it and entering the new name. We can also change the value here. When we are finished with our changes, we can click here to exit AIM's Geometry Editing Mode. Notice how the geometry immediately changes in the graphics window. The offset parameter we created is in the data panel at the top left. The mesh is updated to reflect the geometry changes. If we want to make further geometry changes, we can select the Geometry task and click on Edit Geometry in the data panel, or we can right-click in the Graphics window. We can also right-click on the Geometry task. We can move the holes again or make other geometry changes. For example, if we need to create an internal volume for a flow simulation, we can choose the Prepare toolset, then Volume Extract, for help with any tool, we can press F1 for more information. If we need to create an external enclosure for a flow or other simulation, we can also do that here. For more information about AIM's geometry editing tools, open the context-sensitive help for the geometry task and view the Guide to Using Geometry Modeling in AIM. This concludes this demonstration of using geometry modeling in AIM.